Hey everyone, it's Robin from Crafting with Robin, and I have a Hobby Lobby haul here. We took everything out of the bags, so we didn't have to listen to the bags rustling and me making a mess, but I'll start out with the smaller items. I did get a little gingerbread man, girl, I should say, and she was everything was 75% off at Hobby Lobby. I went there last night. My son took me out for dinner as an early birthday gift, and the restaurant was right next to Hobby Lobby, so I went early and went ran into Hobby Lobby, and this was regular $4, so I think I paid, what would that be, $1.25? Is that right? A little bit less than that, maybe? No, I mean, a dollar. That'd be a dollar. <laughs> yeah, that's my, that's me in math. I never, I've never gotten along with math. And then I did grab a little gingerbread ornament. This was $5, so this would have been a dollar twenty-five. Just got the little people in there. I don't know if this is supposed to represent mom and dad and two kids, but I just saw it as a gingerbread ornament, so I grabbed it. Oh, it says ready to personalize. Personalize the front with name, date, or special phrase. Okay, so you can personalize this anywhere. That's kind of cool. Then I, let's get the, maybe the, the little, yeah, the little stuff out of the way. I did grab, I'll show you these first. These are actually, i got four of them, um, napkin rings, and they were regular $3.99, so they came out to be a dollar, and I got four of them, and I'm not probably not going to use them for napkin rings. I'll use them for whatever, a little candle, wreath around the candle, or maybe just deconstruct them. It does have just a little staple or something holding them together there. Shouldn't say little. It feels like it's kind of a sturdy staple. But anyways, that's I got those for just craft projects. And then I grabbed these, which those might go with. I did this last year and I ended up not doing anything with them. They're still down in a tote down in my basement. But I got the J and the Y of the yellow or the white and the natural color. And my thoughts were because these were their little stocking monograms. And I believe I paid less than a dollar for these. I think the 80 cents, something like that. My idea was to use the J and the Y and put something, it probably wouldn't be this, but something on the order of this as the O and put joy on a Christmas projects. For next year, um, J and Y must be because uh, they had quite a few of these and I didn't find any O's. So they, this must be a um, not as common of a le letter, even though I've got a grandson, John. I've got my son, Jake. You know, Jake's popular in my family. I have a nephew, Jared. Let's see. I think if there's anybody else, oh, my husband was John, but, um, and then I found these little, they're actually place card holders, but I figured they could be used for picture holders or whatever, or just to decorate a tiered tray. Put on the tiered tray, the little gingerbread man. Could even hold a Christmas card. I actually have one of my Christmas cards sitting here. Normally I kind of stick my Christmas cards in the creases of this. But I figured it was probably a little distracting when I'm doing a video, so I moved them. Yeah, a little Christmas card. So I will put that back. And then I did get a couple more of these. I bought a bunch of these last year. And when we did the crafting day with my grandkids, we ended up using a lot of them. So I just, just to have them in stock for doing DIYs or whatever, or even just an ornament itself. Pretty. I do plan on doing some stuff this summer. And actually, I've left something out in my car. I forgot about that. And I'm, I'll just tell you about it. 
I don't think you need to see. They are just the green greenery wreaths, just the pine needle wreaths. Um, I don't know if they were 12 or 14 inch. They were $4. They came out to be $4 at the clearance. So I got three of them because I plan on doing a bunch of crafts. Hopefully next year I'm going to do a craft show or maybe sell some stuff on, just off of Facebook or something I'm hoping to do. My mom talked about maybe just doing a little um, garage sale, craft sale in like my garage or something or my sister's garage, maybe closer to Christmas. And, you know, see if someone, because she's got a lot of Christmas decorations to sell that she's just have, you know, just wants to don't get rid of some stuff and and some of it's kind of nice. She doesn't want to give it away. But I did grab these PJ Masks characters ornaments. These came out to be, I think, $2 a piece. And we've got Owlette, Gecko, and Catboy. And my one granddaughter is like a huge PJ Masks fan. Well, I think all the kids in that family are. But she just loves Owlette. She, she loves her. So... I don't know if I will save these till next year and give them to them as ornaments or if I will take off the little thing and ha let her have them as toys. Her birthday's coming in February. I might do that. Because I think if we put them on the tree, she'd probably want to take them off and play with them anyways. I mean, she's old enough to know better, but, you know, sometimes things are tempting. And I got to show you what I got for myself. For ornaments it says let's get crafty and i paid let's see two dollars for it and it's got a little like glue paints paintbrush um tape glue gun scissors i just love this one i saw it i just Grabbed it right away. I kind of wish I would have bought two of them. Could have given one away to a friend or something. That would have been cute. Cute gift. But I might just, I'm not going to save this for an ornament for my tree. I might just hang this in my craft room somewhere. Maybe I'll make myself a little plaque. Because I know I talked a while back about, I have some iron-ons. Sorry, my eye itches. I have some iron-ons that I thought about. One of them says something about crafting. And I was going to. Thought about ironing it onto a board. Maybe I'll include this on that project. I'll I'll try to do it a video if I do that. And then this I was excited about. I mean not excited about, but I was happy with. I found it. I did find it right away when I got there, but there was no price tag on it. So I didn't want to have to go up and wait forever for them to figure out the price of it. I put it in my cart and walked around thinking if I saw another one, I would switch them. And I never did, so I ended up putting it back. There's a little teeny tiny chip out of it. Didn't notice that till now. I'm thinking it might have happened when I, in my bag. It was wrapped up good, though. I just probably didn't notice that. Anyways, because I did inspect it. When I, I was... I walked around for quite a while, never found it, so I put it back. And then when I went up to check out, just before the checkouts, I saw a display of all of these. So I did get one. And it was, I think it ended up being like $4.25 or something for this. But I'm glad I got it. Wish I would have got two. I could have used one for lotion. No, I don't need two. <laughs> so I did get that. And then I got these little ornaments. I've done DIYs with something on the order of these before. Um, it was bigger, though. They were bigger. The beads were smaller, but the wreaths were bigger, and they didn't have the little burlap on top. So I don't know if this that's something new this year or if this is just totally different than that, but I paid $2 for these, and there's four of them in here. And I don't know. I, they're wood. They're not. I mean, it says chatterproof, but they're. I'm pretty sure they're wood. So, I'll figure. I'll do another. Yeah. Why? Well, 
I actually, what I did is I should just come out and say it. I ordered a bunch of them off of online from online. I think I ordered like 12 of them or something and then did it because I was going to do a bunch of them. And then I did my DIY and then I haven't done anything with them. But I thought this would be something cute for the kids crafting day with the kids to do. And if not, I could do a bunch of them. And if I do a craft show, I have them. And this is just a little lamb's ear. Is that what it's called? Lamb's ear wreath? Doesn't say on it. But this I paid $3 for. Yeah. That's just a small one. I kind of wish I would have bought a couple of these now because they would have been cute to do something like. Um, I just had an idea in my head. Like hanging on my cupboard doors or something like that. That would have been pretty. Just to have hanging somewhere. Add a little bow to it or something. Ribbon. That would have been pretty. But I didn't need to spend any more than I did because I spent 90 bucks. And I got two of these. These are just a long garland. It's got a tassel on the bottom. Um, five, five of the green trees. And then it's got the red and green beads and a little loop at the top these were 10.99 so what is that two something i paid for this that'd be 225 and i got two of them so i figured one of if i didn't want to use them to decorate as a garland the way they are because i've got so many garland type things I could take them apart. I could give them as a gift too. I could take them apart and um, DIY with the trees, with the beads, even with the tassel, because it's a nice tassel. And then I grabbed this garland also. This is a wood peppermint garland. This one I paid two, two, it would be $10, 250 maybe. Or is that 225? 250, I think, would be right. <laughs> My math. And this has five peppermints on it. And just the, it actually, uh, no, I don't think it's long enough for my, because my fireplace mantle is really small. My fireplace is smaller, but I still don't think it's long enough for that. But it's got the two loops on the end, so you can hang it somewhere. It's pretty, I like it. Or I can deconstruct it like the other and use those separate. And then I got a couple things that were in the crit. Oh, I forgot to show this first. This is my boyfriend. He picked this out. This is a little cardinal. This was $4.99, so $1.25 for this. And then he got a little mug, a Snoopy mug. I love the holiday season. This was $16, so it's $4 for this. That's cute. And then he got a little, he got a Snoopy blanket also, but he took that out of the bag already and put it somewhere. So I guess I bought him some more Christmas presents. <laughs> Anyways, the next couple things I found, they were in the Christmas section, but they aren't necessarily just for Christmas. We got pink beads here. They were $4.99. So I paid $1.25 for this. Is it five foot? I think this is five feet. Strand of beads. Pink beads. For $1.25, I got two of them. So I was excited about that. So then I'll have to do something with them. But these two, I was really happy with. I found these two candlesticks. There was a third one. I decided two was enough. They're the same size. I'm sure they had different sizes before. But this was... $34.99. I think I paid $8.50 or $8 something for them. And I got two of them. And I just thought I can do, this can be for any time. I can do anything with these, whether I paint them or leave them as is and just use them year round. You know, even, I don't know, use these beads. No, I don't. I don't decorate with pink. I mean, maybe for Easter I would, but. No, I don't like that. But I think, I believe I might be done. That was the last thing to show. 
So thank you for watching. And I, this will probably, it's December 30th today. Yep, it's December 30th today. It's a Saturday at, when I'm recording this. And I will probably upload it for either Monday or Tuesday. So it'll be the new year. So happy new year, everybody. Um, and I'm a year older because my birthday's New Year's Day. I turned 60 on New Year's Day. So um, anyways, happy new year. Have a safe and healthy new year and take care of yourself. And I will see you next time. Bye.